Hi my loves, today I have another hair tutorial for you guys. A lot of you really enjoyed my last one, so I thought I would show you how I tend to curl my hair as we get into the summer months. This takes me, um, when I'm not like explaining it on camera and you know like all the bells and whistles and whatnot, maybe 20 to 25 minutes in like my day-to-day -day life and I will do it maybe like once a week the curls will last until I wash my hair which is typically every five or six days because my hair is like super dry honestly I wear my hair like this year round but in the fall I'll typically hold the curls a bit longer and leave them longer on the heat and make them like tighter whereas in the summer I like this sort of like loose effortless beachy wavy curl thing that I have going on. I really, really like this. Um, and I also wanted to let you guys know, because a lot of you were really excited last month when I promoted a new me sale. They had like a $23 flat iron sale going on. And a lot of you guys wound up liking it a lot. So in this video, I'm going to be using my new me Titan 3, which I really love and I use a lot. But my favorite attachment for it is the 32 millimeter barrel wand. So I have two sales I wanted to tell you guys about that are going on this month. The first one is for those of you who don't want to spend the money on the Titan 3 and you're like, I don't need three barrels sizes because that's what this comes with. It is a um, base barrel and it comes with a 25 millimeter, um, like an 18 millimeter I think, and then a 32 millimeter barrel one so you can get a lot of different curls with it. However, if you're just like, I don't really need that, Numi has a sale right now where you can get any curling wand on the site. Um, so not sets like the Titan 3, but any singular wand on the site for $38 plus you get a thermal like travel pouch so you know how you're like traveling or you're at home and your um, flat iron is really really hot and you need to like pack it instantly for the thermal pouch you just slip your flat iron or your curling wand or whatever into it and it keeps it from like burning or messing up any of your clothes in your suitcase it's really nice um, or I mean you could use it for whatever it's really like sleek and compact the other thing you get is a free argan oil and this is one of my favorite styling products ever ever I love this so much because it's a lightweight thin argan oil you'll see how I use it in my tutorial and how shiny and sleek and like frizz free it makes my hair um, so I'm a huge fan of it so you get the wand and argan oil and a little pouch for $38 but if you do think like, okay, well, I really want the Titan 3, I have another deal right now where you can get $100 off of a Titan 3 or any styling set on the Numi website. And it is a better deal than buying like three separate curling wands to so do it this way. But for those of you who just want the singular, I love curls and you can use the link down below and go directly to the sale. I think it's like hidden um, on the main Numi website. I don't think like it's a broadcasted sale. So use the link down below and enter love curls at checkout. Or if you want the Titan 3, I'll have a separate link down below um, and you can use two chakra I think at checkout and you will get it for a hundred dollars off so I wanted to share those sales with you guys and now we are going to get into my hair tutorial so while my wand is heating up I'm going to go ahead and just brush through my hair to get rid of any tangles and then once I have all the tangles out I will go ahead and just prep with heat protectant but you can see most of my hair is pretty straight. Last night all I did was blow dry it and you can see I really didn't, like I stopped caring towards the ends of my hair because that's where I'm going to be curling anyways. I'm going to be using the Chi 44 Iron Guard which is the best heat protectant ever. Okay, so now I'm just brushing that through to ensure that it's evenly distributed and just making sure my hair is saturated but not like overly saturated in any one area this stuff dries pretty fast so you'll be able to tell where you have too much and i think i did a pretty good job at getting it even also don't judge my super stained hoodie i did this last night um, when i was putting on fake tan apparently this like slipped into my chest while i was sleeping and it got fake tan everywhere like, let's be totally real, until the second that I'm filming, I'm in sweats. So what I'm going to do with this is just take a chunk of my hair, and I'm going to wrap the hair around. You can see I'm not starting too terribly high on my head. I may have burned my finger a tiny bit. You should really wear gloves. <laughs> I always, like, burn my fingers or do something horrible to my fingernail polish when I curl my hair. So I'm going to hold this for a little bit longer. I usually don't count. I just wait until I think that the chunk of hair is like thoroughly heated. Okay, and then this front chunk feels pretty warm. So I'm just gonna release that into my hand. And I like to do this a lot when I'm curling my hair and I want it to last. I'll just kind of hold it, let's say for like five seconds. And this will just help the curl to set. And here is what I'm left with. So I'm not really touching that for now. 
I'm just going to keep moving through my head. So I'm taking another pretty large section of hair, and we're going to start a little bit lower this time. So starting right about here, going to wrap it around away from the face. And then I failed to catch that one, but I'm really quickly going to just pick it back up and hold it for a quick second. And then when I release it, here's what I'm left with this time. So they are kind of different um, depending on the chunks that you get and depending on how long you let them sit on your hair. I like to sometimes grab directly from the top like so and start right around like let's say my nose level. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to explain this. And I'll wrap away still. I'll only do when I'm doing this particular hairstyle like one or two pieces tops towards my face just to ensure everything doesn't like clump together and go the same way. But for pieces on top I typically go away just because they're like the bounciest and you can see I'm taking a really small amount of hair here. So this curl is going to be really really prominent and obvious. I'm just going to release that like so. Hold it for a second. You don't want these to be too terribly pristine, so you don't have to hold them for too long. It'll just help the curl set and stay in place. So, now that we're taking another chunk from underneath, let's go towards the face. And that's a little bit thick. Let's grab this bottom chunk, and we'll curl towards the face this time. So just alternating direction. Okay, so again, just going to catch that. Like I said, um, with this one, I just don't want everything to clump together, so with this particular hairstyle, I mean. Um, so I will do like one or two pieces going towards the face, and that way when the hair is brushed out, it doesn't all go into like one or two massive curls on my head, you know what I mean? Um, it's really freaking hot in here, I shouldn't have worn a hoodie. But I'm just going to hold that, and then here's what you're left with. So I'm just going to go through the rest of this half of my head. And kind of speed it up so this doesn't take too long. Okay, so last curl, just letting that fall into my hand, and I'll hold that for a second. And then what I will do is like push all of the hair that I just curled forward. And this is personal, you know, if you like yours really straight going into these big bouncy curls, that's fine. Sometimes I do, sometimes I like to pick a piece particularly from this area where I feel like maybe it's a touch too straight. Um, and I will just grab a bit of that hair, try not to disrupt the other curls. I'll brush through that. And then I will recurl this piece. And again, we always go away from the face, or at least I do, um, on these top sections of my head. So I'm just going to recurl that. And I won't hold this one very long because I don't want it to be like a spiral. So we'll say like five seconds more. And then we'll just kind of release that, let it fall into the hand. And here is what this looks like after you are all said and done. So what I'll do is just take some hairspray for now really lightly go over this, kind of scrunch the ends to make sure that they're getting a lot of product and a lot of hold. Um, and I'm not really using a lot of product because I'm just going to like leave this be for now. Now I think you guys kind of have the gist, but I will quickly show you how I change directions on the other side of my head. So I'm really quickly going to rebrush this. So this side of my head is done for now. I'm not touching the curls, not brushing through them, just leaving them alone. And for now, we're going to jump into this half of my head. So I'm taking a section from the top of my head. Now, on this side of the head, I was curling away from the face. So I want to do the same thing on this side of the head. However, if I were to curl it this way, the way I did on my um, other half of my head, it would be going towards my face. So all you want to do is go the opposite direction. And this will ensure that you will always have curls going away from the face. It really helps to open up your face, and it just looks more youthful and like less like promish or too dressy. And so I'll do the same thing on this side where I curl most of the pieces going away and then like one or two tops going towards the face. But for those pieces I always pick from the bottom layers. So I'm going to go ahead and jump off camera and I will be back when I'm ready to move on. Okay, so I went off camera and just did my makeup. I think I was gone for maybe like 30 or so minutes. Now I'm just taking my Numi Mega Star and I'm going to really quickly just kind of flatten out my bangs. This is obviously, 
optional. Um, you don't have to do this, but I prefer the way that mine look when they're nice and straight. Okay, so in the time that I was gone, I did not touch my hair in any way, shape, or form, but now I'm going to go in with my Numi Argan Oil, and I love this. When I first used it, I was like, oh yeah, it's just another Argan Oil, but honestly, it goes onto your hair and just sinks in so well. It makes it feel really moisturized, but it also helps to tame like frizz and flyaways. It's just kind of an all-in-one good product. So I'm going to tip that into my hand. We'll just take like this much, and that'll be for one half of my head. Um, and I might actually need more just because my hair is really long and really dry. So I'm going to start off just by, if you can see, running this over the ends of my hair. Then I'm going to slowly start to drag my fingers through and detangle the curls. Not that they're like tangly or anything, um, they're just all sort of grouped together if that makes sense. So I'm just running my hands through, kind of giving them a shake, making them a little bit looser. And basically, if you can see, that's the finished result. They're just really loose and bouncy and beachy. Um, and they just, I think that they look a little bit better than this side. So I'm going to do the exact same thing, just take a bit more oil. What I love about this argan oil is it is good for your hair. So you're getting in like a hair care step, like it's really nourishing and stuff, but it also can be used as a styling, a, a styling product. I'm taking the very like tips of my fingers with the tiniest bit of oil, just because I have baby hairs right up here that don't like to lay flat. Um, and then obviously I'll do the exact same thing with a tiny bit of oil left, not a whole heck of a lot. Just gonna run my hands through. So, yeah, this is how it ends up. And I do my hair like this maybe once a week, and then the curls will last until the next time that I wash it. So, this is how it looks when you are all done. And I'm just gonna give them one last shake for some volume. And then I'm going to take my hairspray, just go over the whole thing. And I really like the hairspray that I'm using right now from Garnier. Um, but you can obviously use whatever one that you want. And that is kind of what you're left with. So there is the finished result. So I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not already. I love doing hair tutorials. Um, honestly, you guys ask for them all the time. So I kind of want to start doing more. Let me know that you want more by giving this video a thumbs up and maybe I will continue to do them in the future. And yeah. Oh, actually, you know what? I'll ask you guys right now. I was thinking about like a braid video because I do a lot of different, like the other day someone asked how I do my Elsa braid and it's not like a traditional side braid, but it's really, really, really easy and voluminous and stuff. So I was thinking about doing like heatless hairstyles and stuff like that coming up. So let me know if you want that too. Um, and I think that that's all. So I love you guys so much. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, my loves, I will see you soon. Bye.